This is the second list of the day. We're going to play another league here. We're going to play with Gift Storm. Played a little bit of a green-red uh, dramatic entrance deck earlier that was questionable, to say the least. But um, today we're, we're going to be playing something a little bit more... I don't know, traditional and modern. Something that I know Caleb Scher and Paul Muller have talked about being like on the comeback after uh, after it disappeared during the Hogak meta and during the, uh, the Is It Phoenix meta. For the most part, because Storm was just kind of a worse Phoenix deck. Like you're like this cantrip deck that plays Manamorphose and you were just worse at abusing those cards than Phoenix was. And so a lot of times you weren't good against Phoenix. You were worse in other matchups than Phoenix was. And there's just no reason to be playing your deck when Phoenix was like around. But Phoenix is dead. They killed it. They killed it dead. And I'm really sad about it. And, but we could get to go back to Storm. And so this is a Fetchless Storm deck that I believe is Caleb shares from a few days ago, sent in by a subscriber for me to play on stream. And in order to produce the best content possible, I'm also going to be playing with his latest sideboard guide available on his Adventuring Gear website. So I'm going to plug that real quick. Thank you, Caleb, for your content. I don't know what this is. Make sure you do whatever this is. Don't meet a net, actually. Don't click on these. But um, his Adventuring Gear website. It's about minimalism and MTG grinding. I think you can find it on his Twitter, and it just has, like, a sideboard guide on it. It has, like, Is It Phoenix on it or whatever. But I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I'm going to be, going to be using that. Um, Storm hasn't changed a lot since I played it last. I played it in an Invitational and some Classics back in the day. Um, I used to play Fetchlands for Blood Moon, but it seems like for the most part everybody's moved away from it, so we're going to try that. Um, it does inform, like, what's on the bottom of our library, so we're going to have to play a little more of it. Little, 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 little. We're going to have to play, play a little bit more attention to that. Um, talking so hard, chat. And I'm not surprised to see that we're up on remands now that Force of Negation's around. So that's something I really wanted to comment on is I think remand gets a lot better with Force of Negation in the equation because we can remand our own spells. We can remand their Force if they only have like, you know, zero cards in hand after the casting the Force. And we can remand our Grape Shots and stuff like that to like maybe be less reliant on Past and Flames and we can just naturally remand. So um, pretty excited to try out more remands. I think that's really smart. I think three is where we want to be for sure. We're down on bears, I think because of Aria of Flame, like that allows us to sideboard into a proactive plan a little bit better than playing our uh, our Chimana bears that, you know, make our stuff cost less. Still on the four gifts, two pass and flames. I don't think that's going to change as long as you're a gifts variant. Uh, four ritual, four ritual, four morphos, also not going to change as long as you're a gifts variant. Um, two Grape Shots, usually correct. I've seen Caleb play three in a Humans metagame. Tireless Tracking, thank you for the Tier 1 sub. I really appreciate it. Happy September. No Lotus Field. No Twiddle Storm today. No Twiddle Storm today. Um, yeah, anyways, Tireless Tracking, if you have a sub list you want me to play this month, then please join the Discord. Use exclamation point Discord to join that. And you can type a sub list you want in your uh, the, the sub list submission channel. So, anyways. Continuing on, we have... Yeah, we have the Rands, we have the Grape Shots. Like I said, Rand, I like three right now. Um, a main deck bounce spell has been correct for a while. I traditionally favored Echoing Truth when I played the deck, but I haven't played the deck in a long time, so I can't really super comment on that. But Repeal makes sense, I think, if, like, Humans is not really a factor in the meta. I think a lot of times Humans is a deck that it warps the way you build Storm a lot, and if Humans isn't a big player, then Repeal being able to draw a card despite being a little bit slower is probably something that makes a little more sense. Um... And we still have the 12 cantrips, uh, Slight, Serum, Opt. Makes perfect sense to play all, uh, all 12 of those. Uh, what else? Yeah, let's think all about to say about the main deck. 17 lands is a little low, but when you have 12 cantrips, like I think I used to play 18, but with 12 cantrips and no fetch lands, I think that's actually probably a fine number. Um, Fiery Islet's a nice pickup recently from Storm. I think that's all there is to really talk about about the mana base. I wonder if we're supposed to be playing like a second one of these and like maybe one less Shivan Reef. Like these are basically close to functionally the same cards, but this has more upside in fair matchups. Moving on to the sideboard, uh, to empty the Warrens as a sideboard juke is probably the worst it's ever been in modern, but it's still pretty good. Um, yeah, it's just like I said, it's a sideboard juke. Mantax B20. Thanks for the resub. Two months in a row. The exclamation point Discord there. <laughs> Thank you very much for your resub. I appreciate your support. For subbing, you'll get me a BTL BLT sub. Oh, of course. A BLT sub. Well, actually, I think Subway has to get you the BLT sub. I'm not sure that's above. I mean, that's something for me. Wait, for $5, I can make you play Painter? Doobie Baby, I think it's for two and a half dollars because you'd be a first time a first time sub. So for since since it's, since it's September, then as a first time subscriber, I believe you would be able to uh, 
you'd be able to pay me two and a half dollars to play Painter. I would still get the same amount of money, but it would cost you less. Anyways, continuing talking so we can actually get started playing some games. Thank you all for your support. It means a lot to me. Um, Empty the Warns, very, very good. Uh, sideboard Juke, been playing it forever. Not really surprised to see that. A Braid, good against Damping Spheres, which I've seen an uptick because Big Man is good. Things like Tron, Amulet, pretty good. And people are basically using them to flex into their uh, their Storm matchup as well. And it's insane against the Twiddle Storm deck because it shuts off their Lotus Field and like the casting multiple spells thing. Rebuild is for all the like artifact style decks, specifically like Wurza. It's very, very good in the Wurza matchup, but it can also be good in like some Karn Great Creator decks, stuff like that as well. Lightning Volts are for like usually like the Ferris matchups, but I've seen them come in in a lot of other matchups as well. Like I've seen them be played for Zoo once upon a time, and like that's not a, a quantity anymore. But like then they became good against humans. There's always like a creature deck or like a Thalia deck that you want Lightning Bolt against. And I don't know how Caleb uses them, but they've always been like a very good sideboard option in basically any open metagame. Um, Aria Flame is the biggest pickup for Modern Horizons, and I think it's the only one. No, we're playing Fire Island. Okay. Yeah, it's like the all I say is the only one, but it's definitely the biggest pickup. Having a real sideboard juke that dodges graveyard hate is something Storm has always wanted. You've always wanted a way to be able to juke, like, using the graveyard, using your, like, with a sideboard juke, and that's part of what Empty the Warrens did, but Aria Flame's even better about it because you can also kind of dodge some of the Thalia stuff by, like, killing them slower. Like, you can, you don't have to, like, go off in one turn. You can go off over time. Do you like Kiki Jiki as a transformational cyborg plan for Storm? Actually, Seek Nair, I was just talking about that. I actually think Ar Arya Flame is the... This is this is a card, as much as I hate it in Phoenix, I think it's insane in Storm. Because I think it's the best cyborg juke in Storm by a lot. I'm going to try that out for sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. You a big Outlaws fan? Hell yeah, I am, see Tony Uppercut. They did horrible this season, but I plan on seeing them in Atlanta and in Houston next year. So I'm glad they're traveling a little bit more because I cannot make it out to L.A. from Alabama. Uh, Dismember, another good option, pairs with the, the Lightning Bolts, and it's very good against, like, Thought Not Seer, the card specifically. I wouldn't be surprised if that's almost exclusively what that card is actually for. Um, Pieces of the Puzzle is a sideboard juke to be, like, a good card advantage card that doesn't, like, that isn't, like, gifts where they can just, like, use Graveyard Hate to, like, exile some of your key pieces. Like, you can actually still put them in your hand, and this still fills your sideboard up for, pa uh, your sideboard, your Graveyard up for Past and Flames, so... Piece of the puzzle, good sideboard, uh, good sideboard card over gifts because it just still kind of does the graveyard thing without, but like you get to pick the cards, right? Last but not least, we got Echoing Truth, another bounce spell. Um, not entirely sure when specifically want Echoing Truth over like various other options like this, this, like you know, having these like tailoring options is nice, especially with cards like Gifts Ungiven. Like you can be able to grab like maybe three bounce spells or whatever, but um, it is a little weird that like one of them is not just better than the rest. I don't know. Excited to try. Haven't played Storm in a long time. Hopefully I don't screw it up too bad. Hopefully Caleb's also not watching because then he would just judge me. Got a favorite player. Um, who's my favorite player? I mean, obviously Jake's very charismatic. I like Jake a lot. I like Muma a lot. I like Linkser a lot. I've watched a fair bit of his streams. And he's also just like, a, like you know, a very good like DPS player. So he's just like fun to watch as well. Um, I like Cool Matt a lot. And I like Dante a lot. Dante was from Shock, but I really liked his, what he's added to the Outlaws dynamic. And yeah, he's just he's also really fun to watch because his somber is just unreal. Who do you main? Uh, I main Moira right now. Although I've been playing a lot of Anna as well, I just suck. So <laughs> I've just been playing Moira because she's a little easier for my like challenge self. Does member is to dodge meddling mage too? Oh, that's very smart. And it interacts well with bears. Yeah, you can just pay four life. That's pretty cool. Moon was my favorite. Yeah, Moon was cool. Moon was really cool. All right. I don't think Geeky Geeky's necessarily bad. Like, I've tr I used to play the um, Madcap Experiment thing. I would, like, Madcap Experiment people. His hand's great. Got land spells. Hard to mulligan. Um, yeah, I played the Madcap Platinum Imperium because there was a lot of burn. And it was also just, like, very good because Zoo was kind of on the comeback. That, like, Bushwhacker Zoo deck was really popular. And so, like, they could actually go a little bit faster than you, so you could just, like, ritual out the madcap thing, and they just could never have to win. They hold the six. We're playing Phoenix. Brings me back. I'm having flashbacks, Chad. This is awkward. Like, we kind of want a bear, but, like, Rit Rit Morphos, along with the gifts and given, allows me to... Allows me to turn three if we find a bear off the second cantrip. So, I think... I think I'm just going to top both of these. Hmm. 
There's actually real merit to waiting to, like, I'm sorry, to morphosing next turn to, like, clear our cantrip. Ugh, are we going to get discarded? Blech. This is so unfun. Not cool, bro. All right, let's see our visions again. Looking for a creature. Land and repeal are both pretty bad. Nope. Put my land in tapped. All right, we have three, four. So we would need like multiple more lands. We're about to get Tide Holo Scullard. That's fine. Not too worried about Tide Holo Scullard. Just make me feel dumb for bottoming the repeal. This is a matchup where Lightning Bolt's going to be good, but the main deck games are going to be tough. Maybe keeping the second ritual was a little greedy. Yeah, I don't really think so. Because if we find a bear here. We're in good shape to just like cast pass and flames and cast some cantrips. We actually might be able to win if we just grab a bear here. Like at any point in time like from this point forward I think we're like fairly likely to win with a bear draw step. We just need to hope that they don't draw Thalia or we're going to have to draw a lot of bears. And this is why I actually used to favor eight bears a lot like having all eight but I think it's fine. It's fine. We can have seven. Do you have land and Arbiter? Inquisition? Actually, I probably should have spewed that Morphos, but I, I don't know. Maybe it was greedy. The question is, do I cast it here? Probably do. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Drawing, that's a lot of lands. It's a lot of lands. Like a ritual. Two discard spells. I mean, thankfully they don't have a real clock. So we have time currently. But we're not in super good shape. Serum visions. Oh, that's a good draw step. Here's a bear. Put this on bottom, this on top. We're going to play a land tapped. And I think we're going to try to make stuff happen next turn. Hopefully they don't have anything again. And then we'll just try to make stuff happen next turn. Even if they field have ruined me here to, like, get rid of my scry, I just don't really super care that much. Is this a thought knot? Oh, sword? That's fine. We're not really planning on letting them have another turn after this. All right, we get to cast a lot of cantrips, and we get a lot of mana. So, let's just get started, shall we? Blue is Brawl. Please don't have Fatal Push. Parrot Ritual. Even if they have Fatal Push, we're just going to cast a bunch of cantrips. They have Path. Push. Parrot Ritual. Three, five, or I'm sorry, six. Let's cast Path and Flames. Go to two. Um, think we want to cast a third... We might want to cast a fourth, too. The thing is, we, we could find... I should cast Serum Visions first. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, or we could just win. It's pretty, it's pretty good, too. Um, up. Anamorphose. Um, if we make blue, blue, I guess we don't win, right? Hmm, I may have actually messed this up. Sugoi Studios, thank you for the follow. I think I should have made another mana. Although I don't think it particularly matters a lot. Blue, blue. So we can play Baral, but I don't think that super matters. Yeah, so we play Baral, go down to one red, and then we go red, red, and that doesn't do anything because there's not another Morphos, so let's just assume visions. Oh, there's another Morphos. Bottom. 
not in love with that. So now, is there a way that we cast stuff? I don't think there is. I think we're just supposed to hold everything. I'm going to cast one more Searing Visions. Remand. Grape shot. Bottom. Top. All right. And we're going to leave all the rituals in the yard. You equip sword. That's fine. Don't care. That's fine. Hit me for a million. So you're a Stoneforge deck, A. Eh? Ultimately, we, we moved a lot of cards around, ended up with the same number of cards in hand that we had before. I wonder if we're getting fielded here. All right. Uh, sure, we'll grab a blue source. Ritual. Spire Bluff. All right. Here's Brawl. Let's try this again. We have a remand for any stupid stuff they may have going on. All right. Red. Here's a Morphos. They're F6. Blue. Red. All right. This costs four to flashback, so we're not really accomplishing a lot. Hmm. Gifts. Or we could opt and remand it. Tempted to just gifts. We could opt first. And if we find a ritual, then if we opt, we find ritual, we get a three, four, five, go down to two. We still can't do anything. All right, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna cast this using this. This we were joined to a kill off that uh off that morphos, which is why I was willing to cast it. Cause we could just hit another ritual. Hmm. I think I missed. Manamorphos. Past in flames. And do we need the past? We actually already have a past, so we can grab our peel. I don't think that does anything. Since we're both locked in to play Legacy for the next three weekends, what are we playing? I have no idea, Doobie. I have no idea. I'm going to be testing a lot of Legacy. Would have liked waiting another turn. We're in no danger of losing. I don't think that's true. I think they could have enough interaction that we would end up losing. Hmm. Am I happy with this past in flames? I'm not happy with it. Seems just worse than like grabbing another creature, so I might just do that. And they give me creature plus morphos, and I'm just kind of cool with that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna grab another creature actually. Yeah, I'll just grab like an electromancer, it doesn't really matter. All right, yeah, I'm gonna grab another creature. That way, we guarantee that we go off next turn. We're gonna hold up our man this turn and opt. I guess we're probably just holding up our man. And then next turn, this should be more than enough to go off. And if they, I mean, if they screw it up and give me the rituals, then like, I'm gonna win. But, all right. Now we have remand up. We're gonna hope that that is good enough. And this Electromancer allows us to also beat a Thalia, since we're almost certain that they're gonna get another turn. Hit me for four. Put me to four. And we have to win next turn. Yeah, I probably should have waited a turn, but I was really scared of, like, Thalia's and stuff like that and Thought Knot's ears and stupid stuff. But now we have a man for Thought Knot, and I'm just not really worried about it. Oh, they just conceded? <laughs> okay. Thanks for not making me kill you. That was kind of a rocky start, but I did it. We did the thing. Still getting warmed up, chat. Don't, don't judge me. All right, he shows like every matchup on here. It's probably closest to Eldrazi Tron, right? Because it's like all close to the same stuff. Mm, we probably should actually board closer to humans, right? Hate bears, damping sphere, grafters, cage, lay line around the strip. Bolts of braids, dismember, echoing truth. Sure. Bolts of braids, echoing truth, dismember. I think these are probably all the things we should be bringing in anyway. 
Iron Flame might be a little bit better, but it's not going to be great. All right, he cuts two slights. I have Pyretic. This just feels like random. One Desperate. Uh, and a bunch of Remands. Makes sense to me. The thing is, I'm a little worried about getting Rest in Beast. I guess we have Echoing Truth and Repeal for that. All right. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna trust Caleb. Hope he's right. I said, this is coming straight from Caleb's Cyber Guide. What's up, Mikey? Our braid seems fantastic in this matchup. Taco. What's up, Taco? Aria's meh. Hey, DM cleaner. Do you actually clean DMs? What's up, duder? That's me. That is me. Did you have safe travels back from uh, from Dallas? Oh. Ah, that was. All right. Let's see what we got. Swamp. Probably a discard spell. Uh, shockingly, it's a discard spell. Yeah. It's fine. Our hands just kind of spells. And lands. Lands and spells. I don't really see a world where we want to dismember, but... I don't think the life super matters either, so... I'm just going to play the Spire Bluff Canal in case we want to dismember. Shock. Collective Brutality. Instant or Sorcery. That seems fine to me. <laughs> we can beat a lot of discard spells. We're going to take some draw steps. Manamorphose. It's a pretty good one. I think this means that next turn we can cast a Gifts if we draw it, which is a pretty big game. This is a Scully Sculler. Dark Confidant. Actually, probably dismembering that. It, it exposes us to a Tie Dollar Sculler, but, I mean, this is just going to, like, they, they're down to, like, two cards. It's just, like, I think it's silly not to dismember this. Well, I guess we could have waited and see what our draw step was. Because if we're, if we're committed to playing the Electromancer, then it's just, like, fine. Electromancer. Can Manamorphose and play the second Electromancer. It's actually fine. I think I'm going to do that. It's kind of a spew. But we're not really doing a lot, and getting on board seems reasonable to me. Oh, I'll just play Brawl instead. Variety! This, this plays around them having like a, a minus two, minus two sweeper, which I don't expect them to have, like a flame tendril or something, but it does play around it. Spew Sasser, SME. Alright, well, they're just going to kill both my creatures. Good thing we have another creature. This, cre this last creature we're going to hold. <laughs> oh, gosh, I found it. Um, okay, go. Looking for gifts. Not caring about sword. That's the last card in hand? Okay. We take those. I don't know why it's still in their deck, but it is. All right, well, now we're going to put the creatures in play. Creature... They have no cards in hand, so I don't think it behooves us to, like, not play the creatures out. And this means drawing to, we're drawing to a gift to kill. Tied out with All right, fine. Still drawing to a gift to kill. Putting it in the graveyard just for passing flames. Yep. All right. Gifts. Serum Visions. It's like a gift. Um, yeah, I'll put these both on top. They're going to kill my Electromancer, but I think I want all of those draws at a kill. And they need to hit like a piece of interaction. Oh yeah, overall it just doesn't really super matter. Kind of tilted the Sword of Fire and Ice is actually connecting. What was your... What is your cards? Hopefully not a removal spell. Does not appear to be. Alright. Play this. Make a blue and a red. Let's try to find a Gifts. Gifts-y boy. 
Gifts ungiven. That's another look at it, so I'll top it. It's actually two looks at it. A braid. We take those. Um Unfortunate that we missed, but we have like I said, we have a braid, we're gonna blow up this sword and block. Just like try to conserve our life total. Make them consider discarding me as well. Yeah, there we go. They did it, chat. They fell for it. What a nerd. Bam. Kill that. Here. Go. Oh, man. You played around Legion's End? I'm so good. Dismember. That's fine. We're not far off of killing them the hard way. I feel very rewarded for having hard cast that uh, first Desperate Ritual. Serum Visions. It's a lot of creature removal still in their deck. We're gonna top the metamorphose. Like I said, if we're ever going to, now we're going to like pass in flames and gifts. I think to actually drum up a kill. What is this, Liliana? Okay. That doesn't super matter. It would be nice to be able to start with a little bit more mana, but I think that it's probably not ultimately going to matter very much. We've seen a lot of cards of our deck. We're almost halfway through our deck and have been cantripping too. Lightning bolts. Bolt that. Too many interactive pieces. Yeah, what's there? 17 cards in our graveyard. We've scried five cards at the bottom. We've only seen 22 cards. All right, I'll concede to that. That well, was a good draw. There's maybe a universe who win that game. I think it's probably sub 5%, like with the Liliana already in play. Hmm. On the play, it makes you want Remand a little bit more, even though they're a discard deck. It's kind of weird. The removal spells were fine. Maybe I want like an empty. I want one empty in my deck, I think. What? We were ahead. Pieces? I don't know that I want pieces. Like, what do I want pieces over? Hmm. All right, let's just see what, let's see what Shara does against Jund. Because, like, I basically sideboarded, like, it's humans. And I feel like we had too many interactive spells, so I kind of want to cut some of those. Crixus, Death Shadow, Amulet Titan, Hardened Scales. Where is Black Green X? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Phoenix, Drawn, Azorius, Dredge, No. Why don't you have Jund on here? Black Green X. No. Oh, three pieces, three empties, two lightning bolts, two abrades. Maybe we cut like some of these bounce spells. Cut some of the creatures. But like pieces in our deck. I think Bolt's pretty good. Hmm. I just don't know if Empty is actually what I want to be doing. It seems okay. Hmm. Pieces. I don't want a bunch of pieces. Definitely don't want a bunch of pieces. Cut another bear. The bears were pretty bad. We can't be on zero outs to a rip. I mean, we can if we have empty. Empty is an out to a rip. No one mana can't. Oh, no, there's one mana can't. No, I'm keeping. <laughs> Very stupid. Maybe should have cut a gifts, but I don't know. After that game where it just kind of felt like we needed anything to get started, I felt I would feel kind of dumb. Bottom this. We'll top. I think we want a third land for sure. I'm going to play a Baral on two to incentivize them to like try to have a creature removal spell here. Although this might just be lining up with their mana. The upside is just very high if I get to gifts on three, though. 
There's definitely merit to holding there, but I don't know. I don't really. I don't like it. Path me. No! Lame. Next turn, I think we're going to cast pieces as long as it doesn't get taken. Damping Sphere. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's shock those pieces. Yeah, I'll take two Metamorphoses. I don't think this member is overly relevant. Maybe it's good. Hmm, this actually feels close. Because, like, if they have Sculler, it's good. Otherwise, it's not very good. I guess what the Morphos is. Damping Sphere A. Oh no, Liliana. It's pretty good. I don't really know what to discard. If we play a Brawl. I'm actually going to discard the Brawl. Let's say if we play a Brawl, it just doesn't feel like it's going to live. And they can always just minus it with Liliana. So we need to find an Abrade to maximize my chances of doing that. Like we can't gear, we can't tutor one up with gifts. I'm gonna go and gifts for a pile with a braid. Hmm. But what's the pile like? Is it like past? Like, I don't know. I'd almost rather, like, try to find try to find one through other means. Like, through just, like, drawing cards. This is a tough turn. I may have, I may have screwed this game up. I may have screwed this game up by playing that Baral in turn two. And not, like, forcing them to push plus do something else. But they would just literally on a sack it, actually. Like, what is the best way to find out a braid while our hand's being pressured? Yeah, I see, I cut the truth in the repeal because I didn't really think that they were going to be very relevant. I should have cut the bolts. I think the bolts were bad, and so was the dismember. Like, I didn't really know what split I wanted of, of, like, creature removal because I didn't know if they were a Thalia deck. But after seeing Rest in Peace, I think I should have left the bounce spells in and, like, cut the, the other things. And, like, I was hoping to beat Rest in Peace through, like, Empty the Warrens, so I didn't really see Damping Sphere coming. Like, this is just a lot of things to beat Storm. And I'm not really sure how I was supposed to board because I wanted to be able to answer the creatures and I wanted to be able to answer the, like, the permanents, but they also have discards. So just trying to beat everything, I think, really just, like, bastardized my deck and is going to cause me to lose this one. I'm just going to opt. Okay, go. Cool. I'll discard a ritual. I think I'm gonna morphos on instep. I'm gonna try to like not gifts for an abrade, because if we gifts for an abrade, there's just like it just goes to the graveyard and there's one less to draw to. And like I don't think there's any sequence of cards that are good enough that they're just like getting those two cards is going to be relevant. You have a threat. Jesus. All right. Yeah, now maybe we should have just had a pass in flames in the graveyard to have access to. I just don't know how many other things we're beating plus the stamping sphere plus Liliana. Like I said, definitely willing, open to the fact I may have screwed this up, but. Uh, blue. Alright, well, there's a past in flames. So if we can find a braid, maybe we're in good shape. So I can pieces, then serum visions? It's, well, no, I can't do both of those. So I guess we're just pieces in because it's the best. A braid gifts is a hell of a fucking pile, I'll tell you what. Alright, go. 
And then we discard the gifts. Probably the serum visions, actually. And try to ritual off Inquisition. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, I guess. No. That's unfun. All right, you win. <laughs> those are those are some good draw steps. You got me. I'm not beating that much hate, that's for sure. F. F in the chat for me. I don't like Bolt in this matchup. The creatures don't kill us, and a Braid can play that role. Well, the thing is, I don't know if they have Thalia. If they have Thalia, the creatures do kill us because they have removal spells, but after seeing so many non-creature spells, I shouldn't be thinking about Thalia anymore, and I didn't really consider that. I probably actually should have just looked at the like, black-white Stoneforge deck that was posted, I think by Caleb or whoever, um, Caleb Durward, and based it around that. But like, I was used to thinking like of a black-white Taxes deck, I mean, the matchup's already not good to start with, but, like, I definitely think I screwed up sideboarding. This hand is pretty bad. But mulliganing sucks, and I'm tempted to actually keep it. Hmm, five lands is too many. Yeah, this hand's not demonstrably better, but it's better. Alright, let's lead on... Slide of hand. Yeah, a bear is probably going to be needed to assemble stuff, so I'll take the bear. Hey Drake, if only there was an instant in our sideboard for one and a blue, that would have been very good there. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I explained my logic for not having it, and it was probably bad, but it was logic. For all, huh? Well, Burn is not a great matchup from my understanding, but on the play, it's probably a little bit better. Um, I'm tempted to put a Baral into play and just to try to block. We're binary on Eidolon no matter what anyway. Should we cast Simpsons actually? Jesus. Alright, if they have Eidolon, we're dead. Oh, I should have put the land on top. Oh my gosh, I'm such a forehead. It doesn't really matter, it just draws it out of my deck, but I should put the land on top. They have Eidolon, we'll concede. I'm just like, not going to win this game before that happens. You sh I just wanted to be, no, no, your point's fine. I definitely should have, like, it is demonstrating I should have had fucking uh, Echoing Truth in my deck. That's fine. I guess it does hide what I'm drawing, is like the real draw to like not having, um, what's it called in my deck? Or not, not like just putting that land on top would have hid, hidden what I drew. Play this creature. We're going to play this creature and hope to top deck. Hope to top deck the gifts. They have Searing Blaze here. I don't think we can win. Ooh, it doesn't look like a Searing Blaze. I played that one because it's worse and like it's very likely that I'm going to have to block this turn. Drew land. Jeez. So they have a Searing Blaze they would have cast it. If they have Boros Charm, my dad. 10, 12. Yeah, I am. Question, am I winning this game if I'm not blocking? Or I mean if I am blocking? Am I like, is there a sequence where I win this game? I think there is. Getting a draw step's like better than not. Alright, we both play dark. All right, I was looking for what Cher did against Burn. There we go. Enter the Warren's Lightning Bolt's Echoing Truth. How do we not want to Braids? I lost their best card. I don't understand. I'm so confused. Ugh. 
Thank you very much for the resub. 12 months. I got here just in time to see one of the worst matchups in all of Magic. I don't even think it's that bad. It's just like... I don't know. I really don't actually think the burn matchup is that bad. Like, you have about the same clock. It's just binary on Idol and the Great Rebel. Although, with the London Mulligan, it's probably very, very bad, actually. I didn't really think about the London Mulligan. Because they get to just mulligan towards Eidolon, and we have to have an answer for it. Peel. Gifts. What am I missing here? This is definitely the number of cuts. I'm putting at least I want to braid my deck. Two Ds, three bolts, whatever. Two slights, three mounds, appeal gifts. I don't understand what I'm missing, but whatevs. I'm just going to submit this and hope to beat an idol on. It's fine percent wise, it's just miserable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're both two ships passing in the night. If you cover them on turn three, easy. I mean, the problem is covering them on turn three is actually pretty hard. This hand looks reasonable. Round five, I had a storm player. Game one, Aria me on the play and kill two shadows. I was sad. Wow, did you win that? <laughs> Probably not, right? Uh, this hand needs rituals and a gift. Definitely doesn't need more lands. You're probably gonna play a brawl on turn two to try to block. I hope they don't have idol on. I didn't see the mulligan, which means yeah. Oh my god, they have nothing on turn one. They might just have the idol on. That'd be such a beating. Empty. Maybe we won't play a creature. Yeah, I, I need to be informed of whether I need to be like aggressively digging. Cause like if I see like a gifts or something here or like a ritual, I'm gonna be tempted to keep it, but I won't know for sure if I'm supposed to keep it or not. Ball me, that's fine. Because I won't know for sure if they have idol on. I assume they do, but. I would rather have the maximum information for casting this out. So we're going to give up F6 value. Rule of Solve for Eidolon. That ain't it, Chief. That's a Rule of Solve for Eidolon. We take those. All right, well, let's just, like, shoot it. Bolt it. And then we're going to put a bear into play. They probably do. Not close to winning. Very fair. Very fair. If they kill two of your uh, two of your threats, then it's uh, not going to be close. By the way, Butter, if you have a um, sublist for me to play this month, post it in the Discord the sublist channel. You know what to do. You're not dumb. Despite your appearance. <laughs> this is not Phoenix, Teriba. Phoenix is dead. Actually, Javier had a sweet list that we're probably going to try at some point, but uh, for now, Phoenix is dead. Phoenix is Phoenix has gone the way of the Hogak deck. It is no longer with us. What do you have? Just another island? I don't understand this. Like, there's no way I can like free bolt your thing. Spanish Inquisition time? Oh, jeez. Sure. I mean, <laughs> I've played worse decks on stream. I've played worse decks. No Eidolon. This is where they have a second Eidolon, right? Like, that'd be just egregious. All right, Helix, we take those. Is this me or the, the thing? I don't know the thing. That's fine. We held on to one, nerd. Ritual. I feel incentivized to Baral Ritual Empty. Is that nuts? Oh, wait, no, we could, we could do the Passive Flames thing too, right? Play this. Brawl, ritual to three, cast, past, ritual, empty for more. I want more dudes. Yeah, I mean, we can make a lot of dudes. All right, fine. We'll make a lot of dudes. Boop. I didn't want to spew the past in flames, but it's probably fine. Cast this. Cast past in flames. Cast this. Four. We're going to make like 10 creatures. It's a lot of creatures. All right. Good. Go! There's a bunch of dudes. Spew! We have one hell of an empty line. Yo, dudes! What's up, Kane boy? If only we had more mana so we could bolt the dude as well. That's kind of what I was trying to figure out is there's no way we can bolt the dude as well, and there's not. 
We tried, though. The Helix does, so maybe, like, this race on the, the Goblins is going to be tough, but... Yeah, man. Hopefully it'll at least buy us a bunch of time. Just no attacks. If we attack, we just block with everybody, right? <laughs> it's like, okay. I'll block with every creature I have. Huh. If we, if we grab a ritual here, we can actually just, like, do some disgusting stuff. Oh, no, they're going to bolt my Baral in response. That's so rude. Oh, they're going to force charm me in response. Dude, I do not care. Can't believe do this now. Thank you. All right. Uh, we're going to make a blue and a red again. Being blue in case we draw some cantrips. Gifts! Okay, well, never mind, we just win. You. Opponent. What you doing? Do you have a bolt? Now's uh, a good time to use it. Are you bolting me? You're bolting me? What the crap are you doing? Why? <laughs> you think you're getting it? You just bolt the barrel. Do you have like a, a surgical or something? I don't understand. Whatever. Here's a metamorphose. Some players, man. Some players. I just don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, here's a grape shot. Yeah, bunch of stuff. Done. This matchup is a lot harder when they bolt the bears. Yeah, they've elected not to thus far. They bolted one of the bears. They successfully bolted one of the bears. <laughs> Resolves, exactly. You're about to eat the fattest force negation? Dude, that's galaxy brain force negation. They gave me the better cards for me. I don't understand why. Why did you do this? Uh, and here I'm supposed to probably flashback hold priority, but we didn't come to play intelligently. All right, there you go. All right, uh, cast stuff. Um, doesn't really super matter. Ritual, ritual, um, metamorphose, blue, blue. We're all so lucky. Uh, all right, let's slide a hand. Just make decisions at random. Opt. Uh, metamorphose. Use red. Make blue red. What are they at? 13? Sure, here's a ritual. Where are you going? You sat here this long. Why are we... Why, what are you doing? I guess they were waiting until I cast exactly enough spells that they died to the goblins too. But I was not planning on reaching for my goblins at any point in time. Okay, well, that went well. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's no way this isn't supposed to be in our deck, right? Like, this card is so good against stupid thing. I'm putting this card in my deck. I refuse to believe this card shouldn't be in our deck. Um. On the draw, cantrip's a little worse from kind of this light. Did it. We only make fun of Tron players. Come on. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Burn players are acceptable. Burn players are acceptable. Burn players usually don't understand things. Poor burn players. They try. This hand is fantastic. Except for the lands that deal damage to me, this hand just has all the things. Bolt for the creature. Just have it all going on. Just have it all. Suspend Rift Bolt. Deal. Uh, huh. Pretty sure I'm supposed to shock. I really don't want to, but I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to. That way, if they don't play What's-His-Face, we opt. If they do, then we bolt it. We might just opt anyway, actually. Try to get rituals. Bolt me. You got it. I wonder if they're going to have Eidolon of the Great Rumble Drop. Think they're going to have Eidolon? I am the most unlucky. I think I'm probably supposed to bolt that. 
Okay. Lightning bolt. That. That one right there. Yeah, bolt that one. Pass the flames. Slight. Let's see missions. I guess I really don't want to shock, but we have a lot of cantrips. I guess we take the land, play this. Like, I just really don't want more cantrips, honestly. I really want some rituals, like on the double. Some rituals, please. I'm just going to pass, try to bolt the bears. It's reasonable. Well, I have two ops, so I'm just going to pass and play some ops. Hope to not die over the course of the next two turns. They only have, like, two mana, so it's going to be kind of hard. <laughs> yep. Get a nine. Oh, this is a matchup where I wish we had Dispel still on our sideboard. That's a card that, that, that Storm used to play that I really liked a lot. Loop. Opt. Echoing Truth. Well, they obviously don't have another Eidolon, so I'm off that. The second pass ain't it, Chief. Some rituals wouldn't hurt my feelings. Yeah, I mean, we take those. Good God. I mean, they obviously have a removal spell, right? So, what do we do? I wanted another land. So, I guess we just start cycling. It sucks. I want another land before I cast... Oh, of course. Before I cast Brawl. Shivan Reef. So if we play Baral, we can Morphos, grab two mana, Morphos again, grab two more mana, we can Gifts. It's not bad. It lines us up for a pretty good spot. This is not what I should be doing here. Yeah, let's just play Baral. Do Would you like to try to bolt in response? Oh no, nope, they're gonna bolt. Maybe they might helix. Helix it. That's just rude. Alright, we'll cast another one. Blue, red. And if we hit a ritual, we get to cast the gifts now. We did not hit a ritual. Okay. Blue, red, a braid. I guess I'm gonna target you. Um, I'm tempted to just grab two bears, two rituals. I think that's what we're gonna do. Creatures aren't great, but they're fine. Done. This pile's fine. We need the rituals to naturally kill them, and if they give us bears, then it's just like giving us rituals to naturally kill them. So no matter what, we'll take whatever two things they give me. We already have the past. We already have the gifts in the graveyard. Are you not on Pierce? I am not. Give me the two bears. It's fine. I wonder, how many, I wonder if that means they just have a bunch of bolts. Probably does, but I mean, I'm going to play both creatures next turn and hope they live. Yikes. All right, well, okay. That makes uh, passing Flames in my hand a lot worse. Okay. We're still going to play our Bears. But that Rest in Peace... No, we now have an answer to it. So if we draw gifts at any point, then we just kind of kill them. We well, don't have creatures, so I guess we're attacking. Question is, what are the chances I die? If they go like bolt, bolt, untap, bolt, bolt, then we're like in trouble. Just 
just gonna attack with the Electromancer. It's like a good way to chip damage without dying to creatures. We could just get Boros Charm, Boros Charmed, and die. Is Helixing me? Alright, now we die to cheap bolts. Question is, should we try to, like, win this turn? And I don't really know the answer to that question. So we can, like, Echoing Truth this. Like, the question is, do I think I'm going to die next turn? So we can Echoing Truth the rest in peace. Manamorphose. Pass in flames for that two mana and Manamorphose again. And that's all we got. That's, that's all we have access to. I have two draws at a kill versus potentially maybe getting another untapped step, which would give me a third draw. Is the equity on a third draw worth the risk of not dying to two bolts? I think we're going to have to go for it. I think we have to go for this. So let's just bounce it. I'm pretty sure we have to go for this, so we're going to do it. Blue, red, overall. That certainly ain't it. Metamorphose. Blue, red. Good one. All right. Lightning bolting it. And that's all she wrote, I think. We had two steps at the gifts, but we'd already been through one, so there's only two left in our deck, and we could, like, cantrip into it, but... We could also hit empty, which would have been a good one. And, like, tried to, like, win that way, but we could just get bolt bolted here and die. Yeah. Looks like it was not a winning line either way. Dang. 0-2 start. All these matches have felt close, though. I'm probably screwing something up, honestly. I mean, these are two one twos that are both close, and like I definitely screwed up sideboarding in the first match, and the second match, like it does feel like we got a little unlucky game one with like how many draw steps we got that were all lands, and then game three. I mean, I guess we got a little unlucky that they had rest in peace the turn like after we gifts them, like we were set up for an untapped kill them, and they just like ripped rest in peace, or they probably would have played it earlier. I feel like, so I don't know. It's just like pretty tough. They're ripping recipes when we have the burns so good. I mean, we can never beat it. I haven't beat it with anything so far. But I've been playing some pretty bad decks, I guess. Sounds reasonable. It's got two cantrips to find lands. We need to find lands and a bear. Hey, Tron matchup. You love to see the Tron matchup, but them on the play actually is pretty scary. Because, like, a turn three kill is not all that common. I need a land. Land and a bear? The land's more important than the bear, but the bear's harder to find. We're going to take the land, because we still have two cantrips to cast. We need land, bear, and... Yep, they have access to Tron. See, they can just, like, Karnas on turn three, which, like, sucks. If their payoff is, um... The payoff's Worm Coil, obviously, we're in great shape, but if they have Karn, then, like, the Karning their lands is, like, going to kill us. All right, well, there's a bear. I guess we can just like pass and represent nothing. But now we're just like literally looking for a, a gifts and one more land and we can turn three of them. Karn. Should we Hail Mary the Manamorphose to try to find a remand? I don't think so. Past in Flames. I think we want that. There's a chance we can set up for a turn three kill off of. Oh my gosh. Redland? Damn it. That sucks. There's a chance we could have set up for a turn three kill off of a Redland by going Ritual Morphos, Electromancer, Ritual Ritual Past. But we missed on the Redland. But I did think we wanted that past. What are you doing? Just exiling my land? That's fine. I mean, I have another one. Do you have another Karn? You have another Karn, I'll just concede. You don't. You should wait until second main to play another Karn? <laughs> sure, dude. Watch, this will be the red land, too. Yup. Man. 
Storm's so bad. Can't even beat Tron. <laughs> what a meme. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll keep playing. I guess I'll keep playing on the off chance we, like, get to keep a land somehow. Maybe they'll plus up on me. Well, I don't think I can beat a plus up either. I think I need exactly all of these cards, so. Do you have another card? I'll stop playing at the last card. I promise. Whatever, dude. That is that counts. That's another Karn. Fine. We had 15 draws to beat a turn three Karn. Yeah. I mean, it happens, I guess. It's the price of playing no fetches, I think. Ugh. It is like pretty frustrating though that we drew two two islands. Like it's like insult to injury that we drew two islands when we needed a red source. Ah! Tron is so miserable. And they needed the second card, too. Like, they had to have the second card, or we just got to untap and have the same line. Like, oh, across two more turns. It's just like, oh, no. Yeah. All right, three pieces of the puzzle on an Echoing Truth. You got it. And Cube of Wants. One Gifts, one Pass, one Repeal, one Slight. Cutting a Pass seems weird. Are the Romans actually good? Apparently. One slight. All right, this is what Caleb does, so we're going to do it because Caleb's smarter than me, but I don't actually know. The pieces feel weird. Like, we know they're a relic deck, and so, like, we have Romance in our deck over repeals. Romance just don't seem very good if we're trying to race. Sure. Just missing a ritual, so we're going to go looking forward this opt. You can remand their threats except Ulamog. That's true. That's true. The thing is, I'm not sure their threats are what matters. Like, most of the time, I feel like we're trying to race in this matchup, right? Like, because we're a little bit faster on average. A Braden rebuild are good? I don't know, Lewin. Using Caleb Shearer's guy, he doesn't think they're good, so. The guy has more results than I do with the deck, so we're going to try his, his plan. Go. But in general, I usually actually cut Remand because it just didn't feel like I was trying to interact with them. I'm trying to just, like, race. Don't want that. I do want that. I think we need to pick up another Ritual and a Morphos to actually be able to turn three them. That's another Ritual. All right. Blue, red. Here's an Oyster Mancer. We're going to play it. There's a chance we can also just, like, pieces next turn. Why'd you do that? Ballista? Dude, that's fine. Why are you ballisting? Over cracking map? Do you just, do you just draw it? I don't understand. I think that's actually enough mana. Yeah, okay, they're dead. Cast. Uh, cast and splice. Okay. Six mana. Seven mana. Kill you dead. Please don't have surgical. Boop. All right. They don't want to play no more. We got the turn three. We did it, chat. Um, Remains probably a lot better in this particular spot. Run it back. We're gonna run it back. Hi, I'm back. Welcome back, Tiki. The change to the POTP pieces of the puzzle plan post board was used to be due to even Tron running surgicals, etc. It's been a while since Caleb updated the primer. That's fair. I mean, but they do have relics, right? Like on his listed hate, like relic was the one that he seems concerned about. Yeah, it's like relic, surgical, thought not, crafter's cage. So like Obviously, he's concerned about the permanents as well. It's not like he's just ignoring those cards, right? Cantrip, rituals, gifts. Hard to mulligan this. I think this is a turn three kill as well. This is a turn three kill if we find the lands plus the... Yeah, we should find the lands, right? We should 
find a bunch of lands. Yeah, now it's definitely a kill with just a bunch of lands. Oh, there's a Morphos too. Um, if they kill the bear, the Morphos isn't great, right? Top. Top. Actually, this might be a turn two kill. I'll need to do the math. I think it actually might be. We have enough rituals that this might be a turn two kill. It's not often you get to turn two kill. Um... What is the math here? Yeah, I actually think it is. Right? Oh no, we're a mana short. Let's kill next turn. That sucks. So if you play Brawl. Yeah, because I couldn't have both the Morphos. If I had the Morphos in my hand here, it'd be a kill. But it is not. Um, the question is whether or not to play the Baral. Because they can kill it with a Walking Ballista. But they can always kill it with a Walking Ballista. So I don't think there's any reason not to play the Baral. Because all of the hate that they can play. They can play anyway at instant speed. So I don't think there's any reason not to. If Rit was a land, they die. That's not true, because this is our turn two. If the... If one of... Those... I think one, just one of the cards needs to be... Yeah, it's just a Karn. They wouldn't be so excited to cast it. The thing is, they might still die. We're going to make a lot of mana. I don't know how much mana exactly, but we're going to make a lot of mana. I think I'm just going to do it this turn. I'm not interested in playing the Karn game. So I think we're just going to go for it. Um, ritual. Ritual. Cast and splice. Splice this. Okay, make six mana. Um, Manamorphose. We Manamorphose here, make double blue. And then if we draw a bear, we win. A land is still a piece of mana, so we take it. The question is, can we afford the gifts? So we need six mana after the Pass in Flames to kill here. So if we gifts for two rituals and two bears, and they give me... The rituals. That leaves me with two mana, three mana, four mana, or a mana short. No, because we can grab a, a desperate, right? So we can splice. So we can go, we'll have we'll be at two mana, then we'll go to four mana, then we can go to six mana, then we can pass in flames with the another splice, and we can continue to do stuff with a bunch of mana. If they give me what is, what is storm count? Four? What if we grab Ritual, Ritual, Grape Shot, Revenge? What does that look like? That feels worse. If access is seven, eight mana right now. I think this is supposed to be a gifts for creature, creature, ritual, ritual. And then we can ritual out a bunch, make a bunch more rituals. We can go, the question is do we win after that? Two, three, rit, rit, bear, grape shot. Is bear, grape shot better? No, yeah, you're right. Rit, rit, bear, grape shot's a little better. I think you're right. You can go bear and they can't give it to you. Rit, rit, metamorphose, bear seems good. The morphos might actually be pretty good, but I actually think we do want a grape shot. Time remaining. Yeah, three minutes is plenty of time. And I think we probably do need the grape shot. Uh, Rit, bear, get fizzles if they give us both bears. No, that's not true, right? Because we just play a bear and we have a ritual in hand to flash to cast past in flames. They give us the bear, they die. If we get a single bear here, they die off this gifts. No matter what, I think we're casting this gifts. So let's just figure that out.
All right. So. You only have three mana if you bear plus red? Oh, that's true. You're right, you're right, you're right. So maybe it's supposed to be Ritual, Ritual, Morphos, Bear. Maybe we don't need the Grape Shot. And instead, just need, like, better stuff to do. Maybe I'll do, like... Yeah, maybe I'll do, like, Ritual, Ritual, Morphos, Bear. I think I'm going to do that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Ritual... Because it gives us another redraw, too, with the normal Pass and Flames draw. Ritual, Ritual, Morphos, Brawl. Done. I might be wrong, but that's what I'm doing. Rip, rip, bear, grape shit. At least let's get rid of Karn. I don't care that much about Karn. We have three lands. Alright, they gave us the rituals. So, that's unsurprising. Let's... Pyretic Ritual. Cast and Splice. Okay. Make six mana. Um, question is, do we cast this Desperate Ritual? So we can go Pyretic, Pyretic, and then we get two Rituals out of it versus just one, so we should hold it. Yeah, we should just hold it. Okay. So we cast this past. Go Pyretic, Pyretic, Pyretic. Er. Pass in Flames. Man, this deck's hard. Cast Pyretic Ritual. Pyretic Ritual. Uh, we're gonna cast and splice this. Okay, go to six. Cast and splice. Okay, go to eight. 12 spells. Um, I think I'm going to start casting my Manamorphoses now and try to find a bear. Red, red, make blue, blue. Serum Visions. Alright, is there a determined... Before we start, like, cantripping to find either a bear or a grape shot, I want to make sure there's not a deterministic kill that we already have access to. So we can go 8, 9... 10. We have 10 mana. We can flashback gifts. Put us to 6. Grab Grape Shot. We grab Grape Shot. Pass in Flames. Bear Bear. I think we have Exaxes on mana. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure that out real quick. I probably should get out some pen and paper like Caleb does, but I'm going to try to do it in my head. For my next trip, I'm going to try to do this in my head. Um... So we're going to Ritual to 9, we would Ritual to 10, Flashback past, go to 6, grab... Is there any more Desperate Rituals? There actually may not be. That's really relevant. Uh, oh, there's not another past. Fuck. Uh, but there's another Ritual. So we have to Flashback to Pass in Flames. And we're down at 6 mana, so we grab Ritual, Ritual, Bear Bear. With six mana and a Morpho still in my yard. And that with Ritual, Ritual, Bear, Bear. Oh no, we need a Grape Shot. Okay, fine. Ritual. So yeah, Rit, Rit, Bear, Grape Shot. And we go. Um, ritual, Ritual to eight again. Flashback pass down to three. And I think we should have enough storm to get there. It's made seven spells. So 13, 14, 15. 14, 15. Ah! Hmm. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 18, 19, 20. I think we have Xaxes on spells, too. <laughs> Don't time out. Yeah, I think we have this. I just need to verify. 
All right, we're not going to cast Seer Visions because I, I think we can, but I'm not going to. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll cast it. I think we can cast the Serum Visions because I think we're plus a mana. Whatever, let's just cast this Gifts first. Alright, so we're going to grab Grape Shot. Where's the bear? Bear. Ritual. Ritual. Alright. And I think this kills. I'm pretty sure this kills. I did the math. It's kind of loosely done, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think we've killed our Tron opponent. So they have to give me the rituals. We get to splice again, which gives me another ritual. Private message you regarding mana traders and trying to work it out. Uh, I'm not going to be able to handle it on stream, Tiki. Did some math. Maybe not correct math or the math that matters, but math was done. Correct. I wonder if a bot could play stone effectively. Probably. You could probably write a bot that plays stone effectively. They have to know that, like, Baral Grape Shot just kills them, right? Like, that's why I left a Ritual and a Morphos in the yard, is in case they give me Baral, it's just, like, straight lights out. But I'm pretty sure they have to know that they have to give me the Rituals. But pretty sure they're deterministically dead here. Opponent walked away. They're bored. <laughs> it's fine. Don't blame them. I mean, there's a lot of math done here. And there's a lot of math that I haven't done in a long time. They gave me the bear. Why did you give me the bear? Uh, okay. There you go. Here's the bear. Uh, Paretic Ritual. Metamorphos. Uh, sure, we'll make, I don't really care, blue, red. Um, yeah, I guess we'll ritual. Oh, they realize they're dead. Excellent. I'm glad you and I could come to the same conclusion. Okay, beat our Tron opponent. That was a lot of thinking, and Caleb probably would have done it in two seconds, but I did it. I got there. I hope you're all proud. If they were just going to concede to, like, the stuff I'm doing, why didn't they just concede when I hit the gifts pile? Was it really not worth their time to just, like, concede? Maybe they had to figure it out. They were probably just as confused as I was. Look, see? I'm so good at Storm. Practically a Storm Master. We're probably going to, like, medium 3-2 this league and be happy about it. I have faith, chat. Do we believe? Do we believe that we can 3-2? I, I believe. I believe. Wasn't there a bot that was the trophy leader with Mardu Paro? Nah, this is the 2-3 dream. I mean, it'd be better than uh, the one for the cause. The cause believe. This hand's great. This is exactly one gifts away from, gifts and a land away from a turn three kill. Which is fun by me. I'll keep that every day. And we also have like remand in the process, so like we can just like remand a thing. We take these. We take these. These hands are reasonable. Man, I really didn't want to play Doyle anymore after that shit show. Doyle. Have I not seen anyone play... How have I not seen anyone play Callblade yet? Callblade's terrible. Callblade was a great standard deck. <laughs> it's bad and modern. Just a gifts? Uh, I think we're a gifts Andy ritual away. From a, turn, from a turn three kill? I'm sorry, we're gifts and a land. And a ritual. Like, it could be a land or a ritual, I believe. No, never mind. You're right. Three, five, six. Yeah, we are. Never mind. We're just gifts away. I lied. We're just gifts. Tapping out for a two mana one one's not good. Agree. Hey, Rackman Z. How is it going? Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. The passive flames. I don't think he has any more looks at it. He's a brawl. So, might be a mistake to play that Baral, but I don't think they're, I don't think my opponent's a Lightning Bolt deck. I think this is a Storm Mirror. So we're going to hedge for the Storm Mirror. We're going to play our creature. 
Snow Covered Mountain is not encouraging. Because Storm would never play a mountain. Please do nothing. Ooh, play Thing in the Ice. That'd be a sweet one. Opponent is on Blue Moon. I can beat Blue Moon. Oh, fuck. Your opponent's not on Blue Moon. Opponent is definitely not on Blue Moon. We have a mountain, Drake? No, we don't. There's no way we have a mountain. That land sucks. I refuse to believe my opponent can kill me here. It's their turn, too. We're getting moderned here, chat. Getting moderned. Grape shot! <laughs> Fuck you. There's no way that's correct. All right, whatever. We'll take some draw steps with them, I guess. They just, like, spewed rituals and all that stuff. Like, if I should have another berry, you get really punished for this. Maybe they maybe they just like soul red. I didn't have another bear. Sandbridge's bear. Gifts and given. Do I even want this gifts and given? This is interesting. This is an interesting position to be in. Do I want either of these cards? Uh we have the like Roman grape shot thing going on. Maybe I just want the grape shot. Actually, I think I just want this grape shot. This gives us, like, doesn't really do anything. All right, go. And then next turn, we'll hold up remand. We'll draw our seventh card. We'll hold up remand. There's no way they just have a kill dialed up, right? All right, cool. All right, we're going to hold up remand this turn. Not even casting our slight. In case they have ritual gifts. Okay. Or if they have a bear, we'll remand that too. Morphos. They should gifts here. They did not. Huh. I think this lines up a kill. Three, so if we draw land, we have four, six, seven. Past a bunch of spells. Yeah, this lines up a kill, so we should just put this in our hand. Pass. Not drawing a land was kind of tilting, but I think we have a kill dialed up here. We're just going to discard the remand. No, we can't discard the remand. Yeah, we can. We can discard the remand. Their man's not what matters. The grape shot's what matters. Drake of them. What's up, Teddy? Hmm. Kill put a mountain in the deck. What a monster. So if we give him Morphos past, it's hard to win next turn, I think. So we're just going to bend the rituals, and then we're going to discard a remand. I think we have a kill dialed up next turn. Oh, my opponent outplayed me. Okay, they have a ritual. Wow, they drew insanely well. They have three rituals? Shoot, dude. You got it. My opponent was the better player. Alright. Well, how do you board for the mirror, Caleb? The mirror is, of course, not here. This is not a very complete sideboard guy. I'll tell you what. What the heck, Caleb? Alright. Well... We'll wing it. Pretty sure the bolts are important. There's no graveyard hate. Empty sucks. I'm just gonna bring in removal. Go like this. Remand seems okay. Got like two cantrips. 
Don't expect them to have graveyard hate, so I think we can leave the gifts plan in. Your man's just not that good. Don't think we want that many interactive spells. I think sure man's fine. Did some calculated mathematics. Welcome to calculated math, Drake. Uh, hope you enjoy your stay. This is mostly based on how I used the board in the mirror, so that is why I did it. Cerebrism's gifts and given art. Yeah, I guess I want the gifts. So they're just going to opt. I think I am too. And we're just going to spew both ops just to like get them out of our hand. Also, just try to find a land and a ritual. Play the creature. They did play the creature on two. Blue opt, top that, blue opt, um, I'm going to bottom that, looking for a land, drew the land, we're so lucky. Alright, um, let's play my brawl. So we have three, four, go to one. So we can just like spew all this stuff. Three, three mana, four mana, go down to one mana and then grape shot. Okay, that's fine. Blue, red. Oh, well we can just bolt it too. Hey Sam Y, six to the follow, I really appreciate it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there's gifts. Make sure the gifts resolves. There it is. Yeet. We'll grab... Ritual. We'll just grab the traditional pile. No reason not to. Ritual, ritual, morphos. Past. Done. Good stuff. They'll know to give me the Morphos plus the pass. We'll bolt the Baral and everybody will be happy. Send that to the Shadow Realm. Yeet. Yeet that out of existence. And if we get to untap, we win. I imagine this Baral is not surviving the night, but hey, it might. You never know. Watch them goof. Oh, watch them go off. No thanks. Where are the Valakuts dealing damage? Oh, uh, I'm 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 dealing twenty damage with Grape Shot this time. One at a time instead of three at a time. I needed to slow down the counting a little bit. Teddy, we are one and two right now. I think I misplayed in the first match, but other than that, we're we're doing okay. Everything's fine. All right, this is just like a remand, right? That's cool. Beat a remand. Spew, spew, chat, spew, blue, red. So the cast passed for three mana. And they remanded. it. We just scrimshot their thing. Okay, I like that plan. It's a good plan. Yeah, it's a good plan. Good play. Actually, maybe we just play Electromancer. What does playing Electromancer do? We can play Electromancer, cast past, which I imagine will still remand. Hmm. Doesn't actually super matter, right? Yeah, it doesn't super matter. Just put some other, put some other card in play. Remand. 
red, another cast. Fast and Flames, they are Mandit. We Grape Shot, they're Electromancer. Yeet. All right. Grape Shots, one there, okay. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Same target. That one's gonna target you. It's gonna target you. So we have one, two targeting the goblin electromancer. One, two. Alright, this one's to target you as well. Kill that. Come in for one. Beat downs, chat. Beat downs. We have killed two of their creatures. We've had three creatures. We're clearly the more skilled magic players. I'm sorry, we've only had two creatures. They haven't killed my creature yet. Can't wait to register Team or Battle Rage again in Modern. Yikes. Another Brawl. A. The third creature. No one expects the third creature. And before we just die. That'll be kind of bad if we die, because I feel like we've actually played this game pretty well. And the mirror's, the mirror's quite the crapshoot. They do have five cards in hand, but that'd be so, still pretty egregious. Yep. Okay. Okay, and... I mean, you're dead if I untap, so you know you have to go for it. Shadow's so strong. It's a punt, probably. I don't think it's a punt. I think they, they have to kill me, right? Shadow is so strong. Shadow is not strong. I love the good old-fashioned, like, storm mirrors in the 1-2 bracket. It really, this really does harken back to a different time in modern. Ah, grape shots. You get two. Okay. Command it. Oh, does this kill both of my threats? Hmm. It's probably pretty bad. You got me. That's a pretty good hand. That is a pretty good hand. Maybe I should have played the second creature. I thought playing the second creature was actually going to insulate me and into being able to just win next turn with this Pass and Flames. Because, like, with four mana, like, it lets me just... Untap, play my passive flames again. But turns out they just had it. Land? Manamorphos. Manamorphos. Blue, red. Ritual. Well, that sucks. Like, I can, I can pass in flames, shoot the Baral... And then we're like both low on resources, but I have a gifts. Right? Two mana. Oh no, I can't. Well, that just sucks. Ritual to five mana. Oh, I can bolt it. That kind of sucks. That sucks. Do it. All right, we'll kill your third creature. I have access to more more resources than he does, or she does, and so we're going to keep playing the game, I guess. This has been kind of dumb. This has been quite dumb. Never mind, I'm mana traders. I'm just big dumb. All right, well, I'm glad you got it figured out then, Tiki. Brawl. All right, we're not making this mistake again. We're just going to pass, and we're going to gifts. There's no way to win. We're just not playing the bear. It's fine. They're going to play their gifts here. What you got, opponents? I guess we're supposed to cast our gifts here too as well. But they might try to play our undermanned if they're going for a win here. 
Could just be a double demonic tutor if they put two creatures in the pile, because I'm probably not going to give them creatures. They also don't actually have that many rituals in the graveyard. So, like, these two rituals are going to be important for them, because their passing flames is not very good. People think Mardu's good. It's not, though, Cap. Fair. I actually don't think Mardu Shadow is very good at all. Yeah, I think the Grixis version is much better. Gosh, this Star Mirror, dude. What the heck? I thought we were so far ahead. And we still are, like, if we're talking about total resources. They want a Spell Pierce. So we give them past... I mean, I'm not giving them creatures. It's just not happening. Guess I'm given. All right. Um, you should grab ritual, ritual, anamorphos. <clears throat> Probably remand. Yep. Yeah. Cool with that. This is just kind of off the cuff. Probably should think about it a little longer, but I like it. They also don't know I have the Brawl, and the Remand's going to be a big player there. So it's unlikely they have a creature... Even if they have two rituals, they don't really have a lot to work with. And I think it's going to be pretty hard to kill us. There's merit maybe to grabbing a second grape shot here, but I think the remand's going to be a big game. They gave me ritual morphos? Okay. That's interesting. That is an interesting sequence of cards to give me, to say the least. Oh my god, they have another creature? Like, th this is all of their creatures, right? Wow. I can't believe it. I mean, maybe we misplayed, but, like, I really felt like we played this game well. And, I don't know, they just... They tutored up two creatures after I killed three creatures and had another creature. Like, I don't understand what the chances of that are, but... I'm a little tilted. One, two, three, four... Five, six, it's their sixth creature. Okay, yeah, I guess we both played hard. Said, guess I had the nuts. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Lol. Indeed you did. Indeed you did. No 3-2 dream for us. Whatevs. We tried. Magic is fun. Yeah, I enjoy magic. The Storm Mirror, not as much. It's kind of a crapshoot, but... I think the counter spells do offer a lot of play to the matchup. I mean, I would have... I wouldn't be... I think I'm, like, more tilted that they had, like, a creature there than, like, if they just killed me with rituals out of hand. Because, like, I suspected they had two rituals based on the fact they grabbed none in that gifts pile. It's like, okay, well, your hand probably is just stock full of rituals. So... I, but that's what I was saying is like I don't think they had enough resources to actually kill us there so if they just like drew into it like they'd be a, probably a little less tilting than specifically another bear when like my plan that game was to kill all their bears and I feel like I did a good job and they still just had more Ugh. woof this hand just needs like a red source and it's pretty good I think so we're in good shape for a deck that kills on turn 3 we've not been killing a lot of people do I think Urza moving away from Teferi is final? That's a complicated question, but I, I don't really know. Um, uh, just looking for red land. That counts. You need to draw another red land, and I think we have a kill next turn, right? Three, five, six. Yeah, we have a kill next turn with another red land. But we need specifically another red land because our mana sucks. How many tickets does a league cost? Cost 10 tickets, I believe. Or 100 play points. That is fine. 
You can play some elves. If they don't play... Yeah, Clan Caller I don't think kills us next turn. So I think we're going to die on turn 4, but not on turn 3. And that's what matters. Yeah, we didn't draw a red land. So let's put our bear into play. And let's... Sambersons. Uh, don't really want to do either of these, to be honest. Yeah, I don't really want to get any of that. Any of that trash. We are likely to win this game, provided we untap. So, if they play just like a bunch of lords. Collected company. That counts as a bunch of lords. Even two lords, though, doesn't kill us. And I don't think there's need to be killer creature thing, so I think we're good to go. It's actually our back best matchup, like, not close. I mean, Grape Shots, like, seems really good in the matchup for just clearing their board. And, like, we're faster on average, so I could buy that this is our best matchup. I figured our best matchup's got to be something, like, maybe a little slower. Like, Titan Shift is probably a better matchup, right? Because, like, Elves can at least assemble a turn 3 kill sometimes. Whereas, like, um, gosh, I can't even think of the deck right now. Like, Titan Shift never can. Whatever. We'll just, we'll just do it by a mile. Cast and Splice. Okay. Make a million mana. Mm -hmm. Titan Shift interacts, they have bolts. That's true. I mean, Elves has like one Beast Fear, I assume you mean like Assassin's Trophy or something. Elves has like Abrupt Decays, right? Um, it doesn't matter. I shouldn't really like sit here and take time. Figuring this out. Alright. Traditional stuff. Ritual, ritual. I don't really need the morphos, so we can just grab a grape shot already, I think. My morphos, past flames. I'm sorry, grape shot, past flames. Doesn't super matter. We have we have an embarrassment of riches, so we can just grab the grape shot. Oh, damping sphere. I see. I understand. I mean, that's that's relevant. It's getting caught by a braids, but it's relevant. Give me rituals. E. Cast the flashback. Um, boop. Cast in splice. All right. Cast in splice. All right. It's a bunch of mana. Um, metamorphos. Make blue blue. Um, what do we got? Ten spells. Opt. Bottom. Um, I guess we should see our visions out of hand. Oh, here's a grape shot. That's fine. This is 12. It's more than enough. Could we do it in one? Cast like one. We can cast like one. Two more spells to 14, 15. I don't think we can. Well, we could, but not without extra help. So we'll just get a grape shot. Pew, 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 I think I'll find the line of casting the other grape shot targeting them. Same target. So much clicking. 
All right, so we killed him dead on turn four. Pretty reasonable. For elves, I imagine we want, like, the abrades. Do they even have graveyard hate? I don't suspect they do. Phoenix and Storm just slap elves. I mean, Phoenix slapped elves because, uh, what's it called? Thing in the Ice was unfreaking beatable. All right. Elves is not on here. The braids for damping spheres. I don't know what else to say they're going to have. They might have, like, discard spells. The bolts almost seem like over sideboarding. But I guess the remands aren't very good. We'll leave the repeal in. Put in, like, Echoing Truth, maybe. All right, we're going to try this. I'm not even going to board in the bolts, which might be egregious, but... I'd rather just, like, play my game plan a little bit better and, like, bounce any kind of hate that might, like, might come out of the sideboard. Like, especially artifact-based hate, like, Grafteer's Cage and stuff like that. A lot of bears. A lot of bears. Hmm. I'm gonna keep this. In case they have, like, Abrupt Decays or, like, Fatal Pushes or some kind of creature removal spells. I think I like this hand. That's fun. Um... Two rituals. I want at least one of these. Put on top. Do I want the second one? Uh, that's a tough. That's a tough question. Sure, we'll take it. We will take it. An archdruid, a scavenging ooze. Okay. Uh, that's fine. So, I guess we just play. Hmm. Guess we just play our brawl. That was my plan for this turn anyway, and I think it's still a fine plan. We're going to kill the Scavenging Ooze and the Mana Dorks on our next turn. With all of the spells we have. Second one doesn't really do anything. Not even for, not even feeling the first ritual. I think we actually do want the first rituals because our plan is to Grape Shot their board. Another idiot. Well, that, that definitely qualifies. Three mana. Hmm. I don't know how much of their board we're going to try to kill. Oh, they're, just, they're, just, they're holding up the three mana to try to, like, do stuff. Okay. Um... What's slight? That's virtual. I like the land. Um, so you can exile all of the cards in the graveyard as it stands. Yes. So let's just, I don't know, I wanted to grape shot more things. Maybe I should, ritual, ritual here, play Electromancer. That'll be storm count three, four, two, three. And we have four of these, we can go one, two, three, four, and leave them with a two, two, and a one, one. Actually seems okay. All right, let's do that. We do lose one of the rituals, but I think that's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh. 
I like tomato soup. The second one's just dumping. All right, so we need to shoot the other things we're killing first because we need the scavenging goose to die first. So we need to shoot this. So this is targeting there, okay. And then this one needs to target there. This one needs to target there. This one needs to target here. And then they should just exile the three cards in my graveyard because they can. But not shabby. We trade fairly even on resources, and we still have like a cantrip backup, and we're set up to still gifts them, I believe. Gone. This is just F6. So I don't think we're attacking. I'm just gonna preserve my life total. Clear the graveyard out. Kill that. Kill that. And yeah, I'm just gonna preserve my life total. I don't think anything else matters. Like if we win, we're gonna win by miles, not by inches. So I'm still cool with this. Just holding back, playing it a little safer. If they have a lord landlord here, we'll wanna block two and then take three and go to 15. Cushion the life total a little bit. Another scavenging use, huh? That's actually pretty annoying. The second scoos doesn't do a lot as it stands. Let's opt. Bottom that one. Let's play land and let's opt. Let's bottom that one. Gifts ungiven. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's fine. They only have access to two exiles, and if they want to play stuff, they're not going to have access to as many exiles, which is something that grape shotting their threats helped us do. I imagine they're going to exile my grape shot, but then they have exactly one exile. Oh, never mind. They're going to pump their thing up. Weird. And eat my group shot. And just hope that's like good enough. Okay. Narrator's voice. That wasn't good enough. Hopefully they don't have to land. So they don't have to land. They're dead. Block. Your other stuff. You can't even block. You can't even talk with scavenger goose because they'll just block. There was just no reason to do that now. Well, my opponent punted, so I guess yay us, right? Uh, all right. The traditional stuff here. No need to get fancy. Desperate ritual. Twiddle storm? Oh, no. Oh, no. Twiddle storm is not a good duck. I think it's worse than regular storm by a fair bit. And this is what the subscriber shadows subscribe to see, so... This is what we're doing. Are we done? Did you get got? All right, we're still playing. That's very fair. Okay, ritual. 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 Cast flashback. Uh, right. Ritual. Ritual. Manamorphose. Blue blue. Gifts and given. Um, do we want the other grape shot? If they have surgical, can we beat a surgical? We might be able to grab like just cantrips and try to like beat it, but 
I don't know. I don't think we really can. They're at 13. I, I don't think they have Sergeant Gold. I'm just probably not going to play around it. Because trying to, like, find some convoluted way to play around it by, like, grabbing a bunch of cantrips and trying to draw into the last one seems really dumb. So I'm not going to do it. All right. Ritual. Ritual. Past. Grape shot. Done. Please don't have surgical. That's game. That's what I'm talking about, noob man. This deck requires so much thinking. It's why it's part of why I'm not even really willing to like try to figure out how to like play around surgical. Just gonna say they don't have it. Hey, we got our we got fifty play points back. That's so nice. The old two three. Okay, well let's look at let's look at how we did realistically. So all of these matches were super close. I think I boarded badly in that first match against the black white stone blade deck because I think I was overly scared of Thalia and underly scared of permanent based hate like damping sphere and rest in peace. So I think that first match was very winnable, and I just kind of like sideboarded badly. The second one was against Burn, and we got it down to, like, a reasonable spot where in Game 3 we had two draws at a win, otherwise we died, and I think we played that one actually overall pretty well. Drizzy Druzzler, thank you very much for the follow, I really play, or Drust, Druster, thank you very much for the follow, I really appreciate it. Um, this one, we played against Tron and got there, despite losing the Game 1 in an unfortunate manner, we, we managed to beat Tron. Um, the Storm Mirror, our opponent drew way better than we did. And I think we actually drew okay. Like, I actually think our game two, especially, like, our hand was really good. And he still just clapped us. Wolf here 94, thank you for the follow. Which was pretty tilting, but that's okay. And then the last match, obviously, we played against Elves, which is clearly a pretty good matchup based on how those games played out. Like, they had multiple pieces of things that are supposed to be good against us. Now, they did kind of punt that game two, but... I mean, I don't think as the game went on, they were very likely to win. Like, we just cash out that gifts for, like, cantrip, cantrip, a braid, something. And just, like, they have to give me, like, cantrips. And we, like, we just play magic forever. And so, oh, man. Isam Ka Karuka? Isam Karuka? I don't know. I tried. Thanks for the follow. I really appreciate it. Got to bounce. Always a pleasure to tune in and watch your stream. Hey, thanks, Ace. I really appreciate your support. All right. So... Overall, I actually think we easily could have like three two'd or even maybe four one'd with this uh, with this particular league. But I was definitely a little rusty coming back in with Storm. Storm definitely feels powerful. There's a few things I think I would want to change about the sideboard. I assume Caleb is still iterating, but I there's a few things I wasn't in love with. We never brought in the Arias, which is a little weird, especially because there were some decks trying to beat us with the graveyard hate. Um, and what else did I think? Some of our, like, answers to stuff and our plans didn't seem awesome. But, like I said, Caleb's much smarter than I am, and I'd probably have to watch a little bit more um, of him playing to actually figure out how to play this deck a little bit better. But I think the deck's good. I think the deck's in a reasonable position. I think the deck has a, at least a reasonable uh, Urza matchup, and so we could see it come back because Urza is probably the default best deck. And I think that, yeah, it got some reasonable upgrades. The Looting Band did nothing but help it. And overall, this is probably really close to what is correct to play, but you're going to need a better pilot than me. So if you're planning on playing this deck, get a lot better at playing specifically this deck. Probably watch some uh, watch some of Caleb's content. This is the, uh, I did use his sideboard guide when, when streaming this, but it's a little out of date, so you probably have to watch some of his content to actually figure out how to play this optimally. But overall, I think I did a pretty good job. And I think my feedback as a newcomer is valuable to those of you that are trying to um, pick up Storm, um, without like you know necessarily knowing a lot of the knowledge that you probably would already have to know because Caleb's not going to explain the basics to you and so um I hope I was able to provide a little bit of insight into maybe somebody that has less experience with Storm and my like takes on it and what my opinions of are it are for it but not really a deck I would be looking to probably play in modern in the near future. I think you're probably just supposed to play Wurza wherever possible, but definitely an interesting option and a good option for those of you that um, had Phoenix and no longer do. A lot of, I feel like, some of the expensive stuff like Morphoses, Transfer, and overall a lot of the deck just isn't very expensive, and it's in a good position right now. So those of you that had Phoenix, 
this probably shares a lot of the cards that are actually expensive and you know it's, it's still a good deck and it is it's not really the same exact style of magic but it's close enough so if there are no further questions i would like to thank everybody for coming in hanging out and watching me play some sub lists both of the deck, uh, decks i played today both this and green red entrance earlier were sub lists provided to me by my wonderful subscribers this month is September, so because of subway for some reason sub uh subscriptions for a new time subscriber are half price and I still get the same amount of money so uh, if you were waiting to sub to one handsome Drake Sasser this is the perfect month to do so and for that very very low price I will play whatever deck you want me to which you know with a little bit of discussion um on stream and then obviously post the VOD on YouTube so you can go back and watch later so check that out if you've been enjoying my content you haven't followed yet jam that follow button it's the easiest way to support me on Twitch will let me let you know when I go live if you're watching on YouTube you've not yet hit the subscribe button jam that subscribe button the easiest way to support me on YouTube we'll let you know when I post more videos I love you too I'm not Russell thanks for coming in thanks for stopping by um other ways to support me, my stream, and Team Nova is to support our sponsors, which you can see strung about across my stream here in the, I will get it right, uh, there you go, in the uh, upper left there, you can see, I guess it's more toward the middle, but it's the left of me. You can see the Mage icon and the Introspective icon. Mage is a software company that produces software for Magic the Gathering. They have a mobile app on the market, and in my opinion is the best Magic app on the market, and they're working on getting a marketplace application up and running that's going to have some built-in fraud protection, and it's going to work a lot like StockX. So exciting stuff coming. You can see uh, their website in the panels below or in the description below if you're on YouTube. And check out what they got going on. Support them. Their app's free to download. And yeah, it's good stuff. Um, you can also support Introspective, which is a clothing company that supports Team Nova and a lot of the other teams on the SEG Tour. They produce our jerseys and a, you know, multi a multitude of clothing, of which I own some. Um, you can get a discount on their stuff using code TNOVANTG for 10% off. There's a link to their website below. So check them out. Their stuff looks great. And like I said, you're supporting a company that supports Magic Team, so that's always good to do. Next up, we got the sponsors, the original sponsors of Team Nova, which you can see right below me here. Start off with, we got managerators.com, which is the rental service I used to play all these wonderful decks for all of you and all these wacky sub lists you submit me. Um, they are a fantastic service. Tiki has just got started with them. I believe he's in the chat. Just got started using them. You can use code TeamNovaMTG for 15% off your first three months with them. Been using them for two years, going strong. Haven't really had any significant issues with them. They have a couple days when uh, Moto makes some changes that their bots aren't quite updated yet, and they have to get updated. But those issues are resolved quickly, and there's no wait time to get started. So check them out. Start using them. They're great. See, look, Huntsville Scoops gets it. Um, next up, we got Inkland Customs, which is an artist that follows, follows around a lot of the major Magic the Gathering events. She produces tokens of both me and, I guess, the rest of Team Nova, and plenty of other wonderful figures in the Magic community as well. And she will make a custom token of you if you want her to. You can check out her uh, Twitter, at Inkland Customs, see some of the work she's done there. I love it all. I think all her work's fantastic. I've commissioned her to overhaul the uh, all of the art for the stream, so that's coming soon. Um, if you're in the Discord, you'll be seeing some of that as well. But her artwork's awesome, so I'm super excited to work with her on that. Next up, we got The End Games, which is a store in Charlottesville, local to one of our players. They let us rent and buy cards at a discount. You can too, using code TNOVAMTG for 10% off your order with them. There's a link to their storefront below. You can save some money on some singles, maybe some sealed products, support a uh, LGS that supports Team Nova, and, you know, just get a discount on your stuff. It's great. Check them out. Food token. Yeah, no kidding. And last but not least, we've got hipstersofthecoast.com, which is the content production right website that me and the rest of Team Nova writes for. I have an article going live tomorrow about Modern that I'll be posting all over social media when it goes live. You can also check out articles from the rest of Team Nova and plenty of other good writers. There's also some podcast merchandise you can check out as well. It doesn't cost you dime to read a little bit of articles, maybe listen to some podcasts and uh, get a little bit better at magic and support Team Nova. So check out Hipsters of the Coast. They're awesome. Thank you all for checking out my stream, and I'll see you next week.